Good morning guys, Dana here from Prestige Dog Grooming School and the Everyday Pet Groomer. Um, I just want to say hi to everyone dealing with COVID. We're pretty much closing up shop here too. Um, today I just thought I'd come on and show you guys a couple of things. I get a lot of girls talking to me and asking questions about my favorite clipper or what clippers I'm using in my videos. So I'm going to show you. And a lot of us are familiar with five in one clippers, but a lot are not familiar with five in one clippers. So I'm gonna show you guys the differences between them. And then I'm gonna show you guys how you can utilize these clippers to speed up your work and basically save your body, save your time and cut down scissoring. So I'll show you a little bit of that on this miniature schnauzer I've got in today. So uh, let's get started here. Just give me two seconds. Okay, so this is a regular clipper, just like a corded clipper. So with your regular clippers, you can push in this part and remove the blade. So these are your traditional blades, fours, fives, sevens. Those are your traditional blades. If you wanted to use a guard comb on this type of clipper, um, then you would have this variety that have the springs inside. So you hook those in and then you got that real tight tension spring inside. So with a five in one, a five in one clipper, this is the wall Beretto, or for the US, they're called a figura. So this wall Beretto, the difference is, is that this has on the back, they're much, much lighter. They're much smaller. Uh, around the same width, I'll see if I can show you guys here. The width is pretty much the same. But the difference is, is that these blades are pretty much disposable. They don't last very long uh, if you use them on dirty hair. If you use them on clean hair, they last a very, very long time. But because these are so light, they're so much easier to maneuver. They're way easier on your body and the blades are so sharp. So they're just so awesome to use. Anyways, uh, but the biggest difference on them is that they're called a five in one because you get five blade links out of them. This little knob on the back side switches, starts all the way to your left is a nine. And then I'm gonna show you guys in the front how this switches here. See, it goes nine, 10, you'll see that little blade go up, 15, 30, sorry guys, 30 and a 40. Sorry, I've been using these so they're dirty. And that is the difference. So you've got a 40, a 30, a 15, a 10, and a nine all in one. So that's why it's called a five in one clipper. So you can just imagine all the things you can do with this. And they do have guard combs now, metal ones for these as well. And they slide on instead of having any type of spring. So I use these 90% of the time. The only time now that I use a regular clipper anymore is for any coat that the traditional four or five blade is still the best choice. So if the coat really sucks with a shorter guard comb, I'll be using a regular clipper with a four or a five blade. Um, but typically I can do 90% of dogs all with this clipper. I don't use seven blades anymore. I use the nine on this wall five and one instead of a seven, just because it's only a few millimeters difference in length. And then I can use the number 10 to tidy everything up. So the only blades I really use anymore are the four and fives on a regular clipper. So that cuts down my sharpening. I hardly ever have to go to the sharpener. And I was just gonna show you guys, the five in one blades come in a package like this. So there's all the links they have. And then uh, they also just, if you just push on the front here, they pop right off. So you can see they fill up, they're quite dainty compared to this. They're almost all plastic. The front is metal still. Uh, the inside parts are mostly plastic, so you can see that hair does clog up in them, but they are way feistier than you think. They 
last forever. Like I've owned this one for over five years and it's been dropped and you can see it's even chipping paint everywhere because I've dropped it so many times and it still works great. And uh, I have to replace, if I use this only on clean hair, I only have to replace these every maybe six weeks, you know, maybe even two months if I use them on cats really often, but on dogs, clean hair, you, they last a really long time. And I just go in with my blow dryer and blow this out every so often. And then you need to blow out this little inside area as well. But you never have to replace any parts in here or anything. I've never had to in five years. So you're not changing blade drives and stuff like you are in this variety of clipper. So really, really awesome stuff with that. Anyways, I'm going to show you a few things with these on this dog here. I'm just going to pass this phone over to my brother to help me out here and then we'll get started here. Two seconds. All right, so all you do to put them back on is there's a little tiny knob right there. You just slide that in and it just clips right on. So really, really easy. So we're going to be doing some work on this little guy here. We're taking him shorter than normal today just because the owner wants it shorter. Aren't there two types of five in one blade? The coarse one is aggressive, your thoughts? Um, so with wall, I only buy the one variety. So there are other companies coming out with five in ones typically. So a lot of them are four in one. They don't have four lengths, so they're missing the 40 typically. Um, or they don't have the 9, so they'll have the 10, 15, 30, and 40. Uh, so companies like Kenshi, um, Andis has one, uh, Artero has some. And those companies typically come with a coarse and a fine. Uh, for me, I'm perfectly happy with all my walls, although I'm really interested to try a, a Artero. Uh, I know Aaron has the Artero, so maybe he can tune in and let us know. Aaron Westfall. Let us know what you think of the Artero. So, okay, going in, I'm gonna switch to my nine blade here. Typically, I do a five on this guy's back and body, setting in his pattern, but today I'm going to be using a nine just because we're going shorter, and I'm gonna show you how I'm going to blend everything and do all the work with a with just this five in one. Okay. So, going in, nine blade. I'm just going to come right down. So I do my schnauzer patterns right to that elbow and then I sweep off. And I just come and do a little bit of the front of that leg and then up around his bib here and I just lightly touch that up. I'm going to come right on his body here. Now, as I'm coming down his body here, I'm gonna bring this skirt right to below that elbow and make sure you separate that leg. The leg and the body should be two separate things. And then I'm coming down. And I like to start angling up, especially since this guy is a very thin waist. I'm gonna leave a bit of hair in there. And now notice as I'm coming, I'm just sweeping off gently. So you can see we're already getting it very blended, even though we're going from a nine, which is just a little bit longer than a 10. I'm gonna leave a little bit more in the waist just because he is very thin in here. So if I take it right down, he looks a little bit awkward. And then as we come to his rear hair, I come right down and take off his whole rear end hair. I like it quite low, it's up to you, you could do not as low, but... And now right here to blend this, I just angle it a little bit and come in. Okay, so now that we're at this stage, I like to come switch this to a 40. So I'm switching it to a 40 and I'm going to be putting on a dark purple guard comb, the equivalent to about a five blade. So they just go right on and slide on. They're very tight. So it's actually kind of quite a bit of tension. 
So I'm gonna switch that on. And then I'm just coming down the sides and I'm just letting gravity do the work. So just letting gravity do that blend for me. I'm gonna come and blend a little bit off the elbow. And I even let it come right to the floor. This should be a straight line from shoulder to the floor. So I'm just letting that set in. Anything we can do to save scissor time makes your grooming faster and more efficient, which makes you more money. So I'm just coming right off of where I ended with the nine and just coming right off. So once I've got that blended, sorry, I'll just move a few guys here. I'm gonna comb through to check my work here. And now I'm gonna come through with just the 40 blade on. So I've taken off my, my guard comb. And I'm gonna take that, uh, just a second, let me switch clippers here because that one's getting a little noisy. This one is uh, similar, this is the Brevera. It's probably the most popular. Same thing, just a different shape and style. It's still quite nice too. So I'm gonna go to a 40 on that one. And I'm just gonna lightly dust all this in. Anything I see that is not quite working for me, I'm just gonna lightly dust in. And you can see they're so sharp that they just, they do all that work for you so quickly. Just coming right in. And this takes some practice. I don't think you can just do it right away, but I like to practice on my own dogs and then, but you can see this is super quick and will help us save a ton of scissoring time, which is the whole point. So I have beveled my feet and now we have the top done. So you can see how we just have to come in and do some scissoring on these legs and we're good to go. So, and I can even come in and do a little bit more with my 40. Come and tuck that leg right in. The more you can do, the faster your grooms will be. So everything you possibly can do with the five in one. Let me just go tangle left here, so. And then I like to comb out. This guy has a ton of coat, so he needs to be gone over a few times. Which is why also this technique is so much better on this guy. Because otherwise you'd be scissoring for days and days and days. Okay. So that is 5-in-1 clippers. The difference what you use them for, why you use them, the whole bit. And positivity challenge for today is to put a sign in your window with a positive message on it. If that's a quote or just thinking of you type of thing, that is the positivity challenge for today. Thanks for watching, guys, and hope you're all safe and healthy, and we'll talk to you soon.